Hello and welcome to Artists Soar. This is a podcast for artists by three artists. We discuss all aspects of being artists, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The goal of each podcast is to provide solutions so artists can focus on their creativity and soar above. I'm Rachel Harshenko. Jules McCullough. Stephanie Weaver. Art supplies are like chocolate. You can never have too much. In this episode, we're talking about art supplies and which ones are you addicted to? What can you not live without? All right, guys. So what have you been working on this week? Oh, well, I kind of hit it at it last time of the SOPs. I'm still working on the SOP course. A lot goes into putting these things together. So you got to yes. be able to like, outline it. All right. You got to say what SOP is. Oh, not sorry. everybody is an engineer <laughs> who listens to us. <laughs> I love you, but. <laughs> but. OK. Uh, OK. Standard up. It means standard operating procedures. So basically it's your step by step process of what you need to do to achieve something like whether it's post on social media, whether it's create a. Um, thing for Etsy, whether it's posting a red bubble, every one of those things has an individual process that you need to outline. And the whole purpose of outlining them is so that um, and it kind of standardizes your processes. So if you bring in like an outsider, they can do it for you. And then also, I mean, there's even standard operating procedures that you need to consider if you are handling hazardous goods, um, like, you know, getting rid of your, if you still use turpentine, which I never would recommend, um, but. <laughs> but you're gambling. Yeah. Or like, anything like, yeah. Yeah. How to get rid of like even the mineral spirits and things like that. So if you do have an assistant at some point, you're getting a, a rid of them according to like the EPA standards. Right. So that's all standard operating procedures. So I'm putting together this course that teaches people how to write and what needs to be included in the standard operating procedure. I'm excited for the course. Are you really? I am. I know about them (laughs) and I've written them, (laughs) but I really want to, like, I haven't written them in a corporate way. Yeah. If that makes any sort of sense. Like we wrote them for our firm and, you know, but they weren't like, you wrote like third party. Yes. They weren't like your, uh, I'm trying to think, you know, your CSI format, um, which is a format that we use in architecture and design for spec books. Mm. You know, they weren't in that specific, the way you write them, it, every corporation writes them very similar to that. Right. And I, that's why I'm excited to see, like, oh, what am okay. I missing? What haven't I done right? Versus yeah. just an outline of this is what I do, da, 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 you know? Yeah. Well, like, I like is... the fact you put objectives and stuff in them. And, and KPIs, yeah. which are yeah. key performance indexes. And yeah, this is one of my first jobs that I had when I was with IBM. I had to do it for, at the time, it was C-Core. Uh-huh. It was like a Siemens and Corning uh, merger. And right. they had to document their processes. So you're writing SOPs for your artwork business. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's good. Good, good. So I recently hired, and it's going to be, it's very timely. Uh, this is something that I started my SOPs, what, last year yeah. for my own business? Because I wanted to bring in somebody to to work on stuff that I didn't want to work on. <laughs> and mm-hmm. and um, this year, I finally hired a VA. And so now I'm going to assign um, a standard operating procedures and click up. So whenever she gets it's a task it's got the SOP in there that says here's what I need done right and in the specific process <clears throat> to keep it to the standards that I like that's and good I'm hoping that she'll make things better but um you know it takes time to to build mm-hmm. those but this way she knows here's my expectations and she can run autonomously with out having to come back to me every five minutes and asking, is this okay? <laughs> right, <laughs> like, exactly. <yeah. laughs> no, I love that. So, so you're doing a lot of writing right now. I've written it. The, um, now I'm in the process of putting it into PowerPoint slides, and then i got to record it, then i got to edit it. And it's just, it's not, that whole process is not really all that much fun to me. Right. As the actual doing and, like, teaching it type of thing. Yeah. So, and I'm pl- planning on um, when I have the 
first draft of everything done doing a live free webinar mm -hmm. so I can have, you know, everybody kind of in, address their questions, and that becomes part of the program, too. Oh, that's be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, I don't know what questions people have. Right. Exactly. So, yeah. Y'all are like <laughs> I have been told I can't talk about my Adirondack chairs. No, you can't. <laughs> but they're finished. They're That's good. <clears throat> Yay. Yay. And they will be in my shop. Um, but I have fit the finishing touches on my sunflower, which oh, I painted for uh, Ukraine. Yeah, I love it. And the Ukraine war. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. It is yeah, gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I'm happy the way it turned out. What have you been working on, Julie? I have been working on my Shopify store, artinthestudio.com, and it Yay! is live. But next Stats. part, I know. Stop <laughs> smiling. <laughs> <laughs> next I'm part, sorry. though, is getting products in there versus just original artwork and prints. So it no, looks what? fabulous. Yeah. It looks yeah. fabulous. I love the name Art in the Studio. Yeah. Art that in is the studio fantastic. Com. Everybody go check it out. Yes. It looks great. Looks really nice. I'm very, very happy with it. And what do you have it integrated with? Like for your prints and stuff? Um, well, right now it's just stuff that I have in stock and available. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, so God. that's what I mean. I need to integrate my print bowl into the Shopify store. God, you're I haven't so done good. that yet. Oh, that's so good. you actually have like Originals. inventory put on there for reprints mm -hmm. and stuff? Because I imported my square wow. inventory in there. So I have a few more. That's that so I good. know. It's so, yeah. it's so good. It looks really good. So I still have to put some pictures into some of the inventory that got imported. Um, and then I need to integrate my print full. So, yeah. So I'm very excited that it's. It's live. I haven't made the official announcement. Official. It's like, so It pretty. is official now. Yep. So, so there it is. It looks so good. I can't believe that's Shopify. That looks so like your WordPress site. It's I know. It's so good. It really does. It's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Well, we've been also highlighting an artist that we like. In this episode, we're going to highlight Lori Ann Art. And it's Lori, L-A-U-R-I-E, and it's A-N-N-E, with an E, art.com. And she has these just beautiful, um, she has originals, just landscapes, and a little bit of just sort of, uh, I don't know, abstract looking. Yeah, yeah it's very, very soft. soft. Those, those are her paint palettes that she takes photos of. Mm -hmm. oh, and, isn't that cool? And That's they're neat. downloads, Yeah. You're so she has free, well, scroll back up. She has, well, well too far. Okay. <laughs> She's free got paint free paint palette, mobile downloads. paint palette, mobile downloads. And they're so paper. pretty. That's yeah. just like, you idea. know, screen, screen savers. But that's a great way to like increase your email subscribers. Yeah. Ooh. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Anyway, she just beautiful. Mm. She's got a cute little puppy. And what is she painting? That looks like oil. Yeah, it's oil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she just has, like, a lot of lovely things. And you guys go check her um, website out. That's so soft. Yeah. I know. It's very relaxing. Her mm -hmm. art is very peaceful. Especially, especially for landscapes. You know, typically mm -hmm. to me, landscapes aren't that peaceful. Right. But she just has such a beautiful twist on it. It's like oil, but it looks like watercolor to me. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. Hey, before we dive into today's topic, I actually made a gift for the Artist Store listeners, and that's the Art Business Checklist and Video Guide. This checklist actually outlines what you need to do every day, week, month, quarter, and even year. The purpose of it is to hopefully make your lives a little bit easier as you're defining your art business. You can go to stephanieweaverartist.com forward slash art dash business dash checklist to grab that free guide now. Again, that's stephanieweaverartist.com forward slash art dash business dash checklist. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> what art supplies are you addicted to? And we're not talking like a real addiction, although <laughs> it could be. I mean, I love the smell of glue. No, just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're That's a rubber cement. <laughs> rubber yes. cement. Yes. And remember, you put the glue on oh, your yeah, on, on your palm. here because of you too I, like i have to have oh the putty, just, the putty. putty. <laughs> okay sorry so anyway um <laughs> but we this 
It's Aww. just, we're not talking like, you know, uh, alcoholic addiction or drug addiction. This is just art supply like, addiction. <laughs> well, I love the quote that we came up with this week. Oh, yeah. Yes. Did you uh, say it yet? Yes. No. I, didn't I say it? I did say it. I don't think you did. I did. did. You? I said art supply. Art supplies are like chocolate. Yes. You can never have too many. Yes. Too much. Too much. Too yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I love that one. I think I did. Maybe say you that. did say it. I, I just don't, don't remember. remember. <laughs> I'm just laughing too hard. We will figure it out when uh, we go back. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. Oh, well. Anyway. Um, so what art supplier are we dicked to? I, I'm going to let you guys go first because I I can't like think of anything. Like, I've got to be addicted to something. But I don't Rosemary know brushes and uh, your oils. Your oh, oil well, Yeah. Okay, that's a given. But <laughs> so, so, yeah. for for me, know. for me, because Stephanie's here. No, I'm pointing you. You're really good about doing paint mixing and creating your colors from just like five five paints. Like yeah, I got a standard palette of what eleven paints. Yeah, like and you yeah. don't have to. I don't have to have all the paints that I have. But you just can't help it. They're so pretty. I, <laughs> I have to. I've got them. And I've even gone past, like, yeah, they're, we're in my studio right now. And they're, Stephanie is walking over. And oh. they're all in there. And then behind that. Oh, behind here, too. And it's mainly gambling, but I've also, look at that color. Oh, uh, uh, I can never say this. Similar. Sen- 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 Thank you. Yes. My favorite watercolors. Wait, say it again. Similar. I know. They're really pretty. Look at that beautiful color. Oh, that's the color? Yes. That's one of the colors behind my octopus. Those All right, just... so hold on. All of these look the same. I know, but look, I mixed them. She's got rose Re- brilliant rouge vermilion rouge vermilion wait are these t- okay yes they're all different rouge vermilion i don't know 675 rouge rouge vermilion 677 yes and then uh, another red one rose matter oh i want that rose matter so I'll, bad i will since you can take some of that with Ooh, you la la. but yeah <laughs> I well, you know our friend Julie, other Julie, yeah, Knowles, Julie Knowles. Shout out to Julie. Um, she has some of those, and she was saying that she had. I've got a green over there too from them that I like. Look this at one? that. Oh, this is a different set. Green by Co- Cobra. Yeah. Uh, you guys. I just kind of went shopping on Dick Blick. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And um, <laughs> shout out to Dick Blake. Yeah. Like materials. <laughs> but I mixed all of those reds to get the coral oh. behind my octopus. This That's one's a- water mixable. Yes, I know. How cool is that? Well, I don't think you're supposed to be using that with oil. Well, I did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did mix it with water. What's this one? Oh, that's so you're, the, you're expanding into different. Oh, uh, this is gouache. You're expanding into yeah. different, um, not only colors, but also a few different mediums yeah. just to look at. But that Sentinel, I got like, I had to just try some we different reds. We still can't pronounce it. Sinalier. 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 I think that's how it's pronounced. Sinalier. Okay. Van Dyke Brown. And I think I had, um, but my favorite color of all. Is that asphaltum? That asphaltum, yeah, by Gamblin. Yeah, and I, our friend Jennifer Redstreet introduced that one to us, and I, I love the asphaltum because it's a transparent brown. Yeah, it works really well. So, um, so yeah, like, <laughs> um, you saw I I had to buy. So we were walking around the studio. Sorry, guys. So I had to buy <laughs> three different reds that I did mix with some um, buff. Mm-hmm. And a little, that's it, to make, and white to do the coral behind um, Marcellus over there, my octopus. octopus. Yeah. I don't know. I just thought he needed some, some flash. Yeah. You know, not just red, not just like my color. Because then I didn't know if I would be able to do it all in one background or if I wanted to go back and put some, you know, glaze over it. Mm-hmm. I wanted to have like the same color. Yeah. And I have to admit. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna start. But I didn't know if she I had to mix it. Again. 
<laughs> no, I think she's laughing. Oh my god. We I'm can sorry. take that out though. <laughs> you're finally gonna get to hear how loud your sneezes are. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go. I oh man, really... I was trying so hard not to sneeze. <laughs> Actually, I really do want you to leave that in there. <laughs> leave it. Everybody on the, will be in the car and just like <laughs> swerve off the road, scared to snot. But out. yeah, um, <laughs> I I don't mind. I mean, like, well, you know, we're being well, in class, and like Julie's like, or Julie knows, or someone will be like, oh yeah, I got this viridium yeah. green, or I got this buff, or I got this. Um, English rose. Remember, yeah. she had the English yeah. rose, and I was like, oh, "That's a gorgeous color," you know. Uh, and you just like, I know, I get that too. Like, and the asphaltum, to, you can't make. You can't make the asphaltum. No, you really, it's a transparent. You can't make it. Yeah. No, but just that color, that tone. Mm-hmm. There's nothing. Yeah. That well, that, mixes to it. That rose matter, that's one I've been wanting to get for a while because it's supposed to be really good for even skin tones and lips and things like mm, that. Yeah, it's really I like all four of those colors. I uh, they're really very different. But if you saw um, like well, you've seen my wall. And so I would mm-hmm. love to buy like every color out there. And but I, I've got like a wall of all the colors and then I've got drawers that like I've got a drawer for your that, secondary colors. I've got a drawer that says <laughs> yellows and gray. No, yellows and reds and oranges, and then another drawer that's blues, greens, and purples, and another drawer that's specialty colors. And so that's like the golds and silvers. Purples, okay. and like, yeah. Yeah. Just weird colors that I don't use all the time. Mm-hmm. So I mean, and that I primarily use just Gamblin, and that's mostly Gamblin. If I expanded into any other uh, brand, uh-huh. man, I could have like 20 drawers easy. Yeah. Do you see how many Gamblin I have? I just, I know. and I love some of those purples that they have, and I yeah. can make a good purple. And the turquoises, and I, I love the turquoises. Oh, the turquoises are good. And the cerulean blue, come oh, on. right. You just can't. You guys are hilarious. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're just <laughs> oohing and on. We are and color I, whores over here. <laughs> Okay, God, right? That, that is their <laughs> issue. Is it truly is like you? you oh can, my God! One the thing I is, is to... I'm really happy with. I could do like your eleven colors with the mm-hmm. five color, five to eleven colors. I could, I could live with. And then, but you just and you paint. I paint fine with them. Yeah, but I mean, you just want something a little bit new, something a little bit different, and you just yeah. gotta play. They yeah. could play. But I remember like one time I went to um, Atlanta. This was before the whole pandemic. I went for my birthday and I went to three different art stores there. And I spent $900 in one <gasps> store on nothing but paint. No. Oh my God. Yeah. So I've kind of okay, like my mouth is... reeled it back in a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> my jaw's on the floor, but but you'll never buy those colors again because I don't you got the twos. Yeah. You don't use them a lot. So they last you like, that was what, six years ago? And I haven't had to buy any of those colors. Wow. Um, yeah. Because <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah. But I uh, can't. Yeah. I love. I want that rose matter. There's another color. There's another color I want so bad. I kind of want the English rose, but I can't remember what she's. I looked it up one time, but there's an English rose color too that is beautiful. That blush she used it on in a nose or something. Remember with the horse, she used the English rose. But that you can like. You can mix it. <laughs> so so you, can you can mix, mix it with it. asphaltum and um, um, there's a brown pink that Gamla makes. I've That's got really, it. really pretty. I've got that. But there's this one color. It's lapis, <laughs> la, lapis luzli. Laz, la, it's a blue. It's a really beautiful blue. It's a me rare you know? stone. Um, I'll have to Google it. But it's an absolutely gorgeous color. But it's like. So you're giving me money, another paint. But it's like 90 something dollars for a Okay, so tube. I might as well buy. Why is it so expensive? Because it's a rare stone. Um, See, so oh, yeah, well oh, and lapis, the stone lapis yes. is gorgeous. Right? Uh, lapis, lapis lazuli paint, uh, oil paint. Let me find who makes it. Old Holland makes one. Can and, you see uh, what color it is? It's Michael Harding makes one. And it's yes, just beautiful. stunning. Like $95 for a small tube. And Dang. that one's like 409 I don't know how much, how big that one is. 
But yeah, I want that color so bad. Um, this one is two. Yeah, the mo. Four hundred dollars for a tube. Yeah, jeez. But it's a, you know the okay. So I'm just gonna buy the English rose. I want it. You're so giving me the bad. blue. Now I've got lapis love last birthday. Lose Lazulu. I'll ask for it for Christmas. Stick it in my stocking. <laughs> that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a really good. If one. you get some, I'll, I'll you should share. I'll share mine with you. Okay. If I get it, we'll share. <laughs> if we, depending on if we, but that's the thing. Who like, gets it? I hear a lot of complaints about with oil paints. It's like, oh, it's so expensive, but they last you forever. Forever. I mean, well, I've had some of these for like ten years. Well, they least. don't dry out, right? So, well, and I, well, and, they do if you leave them out. Yeah, but I, um, I just this year bought some new white. Yeah, and you've been painting for like what three years? And I use a lot of white. I mean, I use yeah. white. Yeah. And the white, actually, like, if you want to get away with really cheap painting, like painting cheaply, use a lot of white and paint like a high key painting. Right. What are we talking about? Oh. We're, uh, art, <laughs> art supply. Yeah, we're addicted, <laughs> to. We're addicted to. So you can tell. For I me mean, and Stephanie, it's oil paint. I didn't think I was addicted, but apparently I am. <laughs> I know you are. Because <laughs> when you get talking about it, you're just like, okay, when you have like, God, when you have a wall and then you have four different drawers. Mm. Yeah. yeah. This is my my the equivalent to Julie's pens. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, girl. So what? I know we well, know mine's to... paint too, but it's, it's watercolors. Mm -hmm. And I have you four have some really good watercolors. I have four brands that I like. Mm. Is that right? No, three. So I love my favorite brand is this Sen Senelier watercolors. Um, I love their vibrancy. My second favorite is Windsor Newton Professionals. Mm, that's interesting. Because I like the variety mm. and they're smooth. Mm. There is a brand that I did invest in originally when I started watercoloring because another artist that we know uses it. But I didn't like how grainy it was. I've noticed that about that brand. It's very grainy. It's very grainy. Yeah. And, and I, especially if you're it's putting like, it on watercolor paper. It's like sand. Mm -hmm. It's like flakes of sand in some of their colors. And I just didn't like that. Do they do that on purpose, I wonder? For it's just however, make they, however they grind. They don't grind it enough. Yeah, exactly. They're not grinding mm -hmm. enough. Yeah. And then where the Senelar, Senelier is the smoothest that I have ever painted with. Mm, and then, and, Winston. and then Windsor Newton Professionals. I just love their vibrancy. They're bold colors. They're smooth. They're more reasonably priced than Senelier. And, um, they just have a wide variety of colors because I don't, pref I don't like mixing my watercolors. Yeah, I don't really like mixing my paints either. either. Like, I in mean, terms of mixing brands, I don't. No, but I'm talking about mixing color oh, with don't. watercolor. I don't like doing that because if I run out of watercolor for the, a particular area that I'm painting, mm -hmm. I can never get it the same again. <laughs> Right. The ratio, doing the ratios, unless I'm squeezing directly out of the tube, mm -hmm. getting the ratios right. And I don't, I like my pans. I I put my tubes in my pans and and everything because mm -hmm. they're just easier to travel with than a bag of tubes. So. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, the bag of tubes probably like puncture each other and stuff. Yeah. So from a travel standpoint, I like, I like the pans and I like putting them in there. And then my third brand that I recently discovered. <laughs> yeah, you got a problem. Okay. <laughs> is, but, but they all do different things. Um, you're in the right group. Mm, yep. <laughs> yeah, you're in the right. You're amongst friends. <laughs> Ocean Paper is a handmade watercolor. I think it's honey based out of Hawaii. What? That's the one you were telling me about. And they, I mean, when they put them yes. on sale. Uh -huh. They sell out in minutes. So literally... Ocean what? Ocean paper. I'm Googling. Sorry about that. Ocean, Theoceanpaper.com. And they're made in Kauai. They're beautiful. They're matte. Oh, look at that. They're luscious, gorgeous colors. Those look like skin. Yeah. I mean, they're just like colors that you just don't see. Oh, they're, wow. They're already sold out. So... Oh, they're always, and then each, like, I don't know, every so often they'll pop up on their Instagram. They're going on sale at X day, at X time. Well, of course, when did they go on sale? They went on sale 
when I'm coming back from Aruba, standing in the um, customs line, and the alert goes off on my phone. <laughs> you have an alert set. And okay. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm buying these watercolors today. <laughs> I sat there and bought them, but they are gorgeous, and they're they're more of a matte watercolor. Uh-huh. If that makes any sort of sense, but I believe they're made with honey. Look at this. Made with honey. Wow. Yeah, that's the one that I bought. Around the world, girl. Are yeah. you joking? No, I love those colors. They're so I couldn't decide. Four hundred ninety dollars. We're telling for, for, for forty eight colors. I don't feel bad now about spending nine hundred dollars. <laughs> That's just forty eight colors, though. But yeah, and they're going to last me a long time. Yeah, I think that's forty eight, right? I don't yeah, forty eight. Six times eight, forty eight colors. But I'm, I'm not. Know. I'm not going to go. Th- and then when I do get out of a color, I only have to buy the one pan to right. replace it. Right. So I was like, just screw it. I'm going to invest in it. I love the colors. I can't decide what I want. Well, I, well, but I haven't tried them with my close. new rosemary brushes. Mm-hmm. And I noticed when I was painting with this Senelier the other day, mm-hmm. I couldn't believe how much paint actually gets on my brush. I love their brushes. Like I have other brushes yeah. where they get a lot of water and they do pick up a good bit of paint. Mm-hmm. But the amount of paint the rosemary brush actually picked up was unreal. Mm. Loved yeah. it. I mean, it's one of those things you get what you pay for. If you want. Like, Definitely. The, and these are all handmade, which is why they, you know, wow. go out. But the Windsor Newton professionals are just a good. I, I just I really they're they're a very good brand for their price. They're very good value for the watercolors. But I have my watercolors. I don't need to buy any more. But I've been experimenting with gouache, too. So. Well, that's a neat thing. I mean, too, like all these things that we're talking about, the supplies that we're, we know, like, and love, mm-hmm. they're going to last us a lifetime. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm not going to have to, like, I don't need to buy any more watercolor. Yeah. <clears throat> I know. My mom, she China painted, and she's now oil painting and things. And she's bought enough supplies to last my lifetime and my daughter's lifetime. <laughs> so we're hooked up. In oil and, painting? <laughs> and oh, oil geez. paints and china paints. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, we're I hooked mean, up. Oh, and jewelry. So we can make our own jewelry really? at some point. Oh, yeah. Yes. She, she just bought a ton of stuff for that. Really? Yes, yes. Like wow. she's learning how to wire braid. Oh, wrap? that's really cool. Something like that. Oh, that's and interesting. she bought like all these different little hammers and she even bought one of those little butane torches. Oh, really? Yeah, she's really getting into it. Wow. So, you know, we talked about uh, what's your problem. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if Dolly was here, I mm-hmm. would have. Oh, Lord. Yeah, she doesn't get rid of anything. Those closets no. are stuffed with craft supplies. Like she used to hand make um, baskets, with oh, wow. a pine straw baskets. Cool. She still has the pine straw, and this was 20 plus years ago. Dang. She still has boxes of those, the pine wow. needles. Wow. Mm-hmm. And she used to hand braid uh, wool rugs. She still Ooh. has all the wool rolled up that in those rolls. Cool. Yeah, those, those rugs were fantastic. That's awesome. So, yeah. Her mom is so... <sighs> she's like... A genius. She I know really is. She's a creative so. genius. Yeah, so she is. And it, definitely. the apple did not fall far from the tree. She's more adventurous than I am. I gotta hand it to her. She is very much adventurous. Just try it. If it fails, who cares? Right. She does it because she loves it. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I know. You're talking about the closets. You make me think of all the fabric I have for quilting. Like, I actually have a space now to... To sew and quilt, and yeah. that's just something I do for me. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's another that that can quickly go down into another addiction of art supplies. Oh yeah, fabrics, sure. fabrics, fabrics, and more fabrics. Well, if you think like you're mm-hmm. like a, the what the paper snob, you got to be a fabric snob too. Yeah, right. Yeah, oh, yeah, but that yeah. sort of feels it's all the tooth of these yeah. materials because they're oh. all fiber. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, I had a friend. <clears throat> That she did quilting, mm-hmm. like award-winning quilting, and like she had a quilting room, and you walked in, and it felt like a shop. Oh, and she so had the organized. thing in the in the middle. She had like an island in the middle, and like on the sides. And I mean, like oh, it was God, just that like reminds me of. I just walked in though, and I was just like, oh. Wow. Wow. I mean, it's like, 
Wow. <laughs> and I mean, she 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 is still amazing quilter. Well, she reminds me of Jessica or that reminds me of Jessica Swift. I am so jealous of her studio. I want her studio so bad. It's is just that at Low Mill? No, she's out in Portland or out west somewhere mm-hmm. and she's got this uh it looks like it must be like over a garage or something. Mm-hmm. And it's just this big rectangular room. Her husband had built her this huge middle table. She does surface pattern design. She makes a lot of clothes for her kids. She quilts like. Oh, wow. And so she does a lot of stuff out of the fabrics that, she, you know, she has created, mm-hmm. created and stuff. And <gasps> that's love fun. her studio. Love it. I, mean, I just wish I had a couple things more time to, yes to explore and then i think just the the ambition to explore mm-hmm. all those things like what, what your friend there is doing jessica swift and you know have that kind of space which i have the space but i don't have the mindset i think mm-hmm. to explore like that yeah but you explore in a different way like your paintings like the the fox scene that you're doing now like that's exploring right you're exploring your abilities in painting mm-hmm. yeah it's just different yeah i guess so um so, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Still. well i was gonna say so our listeners, what art supplies are you addicted to? Comment and let us know. We're not the only ones out there, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening to Artist Soar, a podcast for artists by artists. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us at hello at artistsoar.com. And be sure to leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts so that you can get more of us and we can bring in some sponsors to help you and help us.